Hi there, so I'm going to show you guys today how to make a box plot. A few things. First, you're going to need some data. Um, data has to be in order, so I'm going to go from my smallest value all the way down to my largest value. So these are in order, that's good. We also need a five number summary. So my five number summary is here. We need an IQR and we need a lower and upper fence values. Um, to find all this information, the five number summary and the fences and the IQR, I showed you in another video. So you want to watch that video to get a better idea of how to do that. So moving forward, so what we want to do is make a number line. Move this up a little bit. My number line needs to go from around 6,000 to about 47,000. So I'm going to start at 5,000. And then go all the way up to about 50. So 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. 35, 40, 45, 50. That should about do it. Um, first things I'm going to plot are my box in the middle. My box in the middle is from Q1 to Q3. So Q1's at 11,150. So about right there. Q2's at 15,275. And Q3's at 22,650. So there's my box. The next thing you want to do is graph your lower and upper fences. My lower fence is at 6100. So 6100 is negative 61. So that's way off the chart. So I just put a little dots out here. I call it negative 6100. Call it my lower fence. Just so I know that this is beyond my data. Also in my data itself, oops, I'm going to put a little dot so I kind of know where that fence is at. My upper fence is at 3,900, so 3,900 There's my upper fence. And 3,900 on my data set, 3,244, so it's going to be about right here. The nice thing about your fences is that they tell you where your potential outliers are. So I have two potential outliers. I have one at 44, 150, and at 47, 350. So I'm going to mark those with little dots. So 44,150 is right here, and 47,350 is about right here. So now I'm going to figure out what my whisker is by going to my first value inside of my fence. The first value inside the fence is 32,500. A common mistake that I've seen students make is that they don't really know where to put that whisker at. Here's a hint, whiskers will never go through a fence. So if you have a whisker that goes through a fence, you've done something wrong. My other one, I look inside my fence. So here's my fence right here. My first value inside my fence is at 6200. So 6200 is about right here. And there's my other whisker. So there's my dot plot. The only things I have left are my um, title and label. My title is going to be annual household or annual or households or something like that. I'm gonna call this one households. And then I need a label for my um axis. So I'm gonna call this annual income. And for this I'm gonna be careful because it's not five dollars, it's in thousands of dollars. So in thousands Of dollars. And that is how you do a box and whisker plot. Thank you.